All right, so I'm going to show how to open up and disassemble this Lenovo IdeaPad Model 320-15IKB Touch. So first what you want to do is just remove all the screws from the bottom. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. If you're just trying to remove the CD drive, you only need to remove this one screw. Um, once you do that, you can pull this CD drive out. So just pull it like that. When you put it back, sometimes it might get caught. So if that's the case, just flip the computer over and then you can push it in. Sometimes um, this metal piece will sag down and get caught. So sometimes you have to flip the computer over. All right, uh, once you do that, then we have to pop it open. So to do that, it's in here. So you'll want to get between this um, dark gray layer and the silver layer. So the um, gap between here is very thin, so it might be difficult to do that. Um, so if you can't, um, you'll have to use either a very thin pry tool, or let's see if we can find another way. So you can kind of start from the CD drive slot area. It's a little bit easier because the plastic's in there. And then you can slide your fingernails or pry tool around, and then you can get over to the front. Okay, once you do that, then you can start popping the case out. Push with your thumb on the back while you pull with your finger fingernails forward. Um, if you have a pry tool, you can use that instead, but I find fingernails work a lot better. All right, just go all the way around, just like this. Okay, then go around to this side. All right, um, these clips will be stuck a little bit, so what you'll have to do is usually you have to kind of wiggle around the plastic. So the little white clips actually go out um, to the side this way. So you want to kind of pull the plastic for the this bezel piece outwards, and that should allow you to um, remove it. It'll be a little tricky, but just keep working at it and you'll get it. Okay, so there you go. So I use one hand to keep it lifted up and then I kind of like push the inside part down with my thumb while I pry up with my fingernails, just like that. There you go. So now you got all the clips undone and then you can move the cover off just like that. Okay. So underneath here, you can see there's the hard drive to remove it. It's a two and a half inch SATA, but to remove it, you push this part inwards and then you can lift up. Be careful because the connector here is on a cable. If you want to remove it, then you have to kind of pull this back and wiggle it. So as you can see, if you wiggle it, it'll eventually come out. So they actually have this little plastic piece that holds it in place. It's pretty nice. Okay, but that's how you would remove the hard drive. So this, you can actually put an SSD in it. You just pull these plastic pieces to the side and then you can take this tray off and put it on a new hard drive. Okay, just like that. All right, I'm not going to take it out completely because I don't need to. I'm just showing what's inside. All right, so I'm going to pop that back in. All right, put the hard drive back in place. All right, try and keep some pressure here. You don't want to let these little plastic pieces do all the work because sometimes it can break. All right, and then make sure to push this in and get that little lever back underneath this plastic piece. All right, then you got the two speakers here. They're mounted with just these little rubber pieces. So to take it out, you just lift them up. They come out pretty easily. All right, and then the cable runs along, goes to this speaker as well. Um, let me see. I will take out the battery just so I can show you. Usually if you want to mess with other things, especially the screen or LCD cable, you want to disconnect the battery and hold the power button for 15 seconds. Um, I'm not going to be taking all that stuff out, but I'll just be showing you what's underneath. So I'm not going to do the power draining part, but remember if you're going to start messing around with stuff, or even just to be safe if you don't know what you're doing, hold the power button down for 15 seconds or so after disconnecting the battery, just to be safe. Okay, so the battery's held in, looks like with four screws. Okay. Once you remove those four screws, you can lift towards the back and then try and get as close as you can to the connector. And then I just use some pressure on it to pull it. And usually you just wiggle the connector. Let's see. <coughs> Jeez. Okay. So usually you'll just um, wiggle this connector and it should come out. Don't pull too hard. Just wiggle it, and as you can see, it came out. So just slowly use some kind of wiggling, twisting motion, and the connector will come out. So if you need to replace the battery, let's see, the battery model number here is L16C2PB2. Um, okay, so if you need that, that's the 
model number for the battery. Then you can see here the hard drive connector. If you wanted to disconnect this and take this connector out, just flip this little black tab up and then you can pull the cable out. I'm not going to do that. Um, but basically you can pull that out and then to put it back, just make sure the black latch is up and then put it back and then you can um, put it back down. All right. Same thing with this one. Flip the little latch up. You can pull this out if you want and then pull it back. Um, there's an adhesive actually holding these in place, so I don't want to like take those out unless I need to. Um, but when you do remove them, try and peel up the adhesive carefully. Um, I would try not to flex it too much. Um, and then you can peel it, try and peel it so it's straight back. So as you can see, like this, try and peel it like that. You don't want to flex the cable upwards. Okay, so I don't want to take out all these cables if I don't need to, so I'll leave them in there. Okay, put that back in. Oops, I might have misaligned it. Okay, put this back. There we go. Put the latch back down. All right, then you got the speaker connector here. So to remove the speaker, you just grab the wings and then you can kind of wiggle it and pull it out. Um, it is underneath the board. So if you can't reach the wings, you can grab the cable, but just be careful not to kind of flex um, or bend the cables too much. And as you can see, as you keep wiggling it, it'll slowly pull the cable out, okay? So that's how you remove that. All right, usually try and avoid pulling on the cables if you can, because some people will damage it um, if they do that. All right, for the RAM, you just pull these two things to the side, outside. Um, and then you got PC4 2400T. So if you need RAM, that's what you'd replace it with. Then there's more RAM that's soldered to the board, so there's actually only one stick um, that you can replace. Um, then you got the uh, CPU, it's soldered to the board. Got the wireless card held in place with one screw. When you undo the screw, it'll pop up just like the RAM. Um, to get the antennas out, just get as close to the tail as you can, and then pop it up just like that. Um, I'm not going to take both of them out because it's kind of a little pain to put them back. Um, to put it back, just line it up. Make sure it's aligned and then push it back down. All right. Then you got the connector here for the optical drive that's um, hidden underneath also the wireless card. You got the BIOS or the CMOS battery here. Same thing with the speakers. Just grab the wings and then kind of wiggle it and you can pull it out. Um, let's just have the reset. Okay, so this doesn't have a BIOS reset button. So if you want to reset the BIOS, basically pull this battery out and then short the two pins with like a screwdriver or something. All right, then you got the keyboard connector here. Same thing, it has this little black tab. You can flip it up and then you can pull the keyboard connector out. I'm gonna leave it in there. All right, then you got the fan connector here. Looks like the fan, it's actually attached to the heat sink, I believe. Um, there's one other screw here holding it down. Let's see if the fan will come out. Oh, okay. You don't have to remove the whole heat sink. You just have to remove the one screw here and then you can take the fan out. All right. So if you need to replace the fan, that's how you would do it. Then you got the LCD connector here. And then I believe this is the webcam and microphone connector. Okay. So everything else is soldered to the board. It looks like there's not much else you can do with this. Um, there's this connector here, which looks like it might be for certain models. We'll have like an SSD or like a half size M.2 SSD or possibly a, um, another wireless type of wireless card. Um, but I think it's for an SSD. Um, anyways, the connector is not here, so you can't really upgrade that. Um, but yeah, then if you wanted to take the motherboard out, just go ahead and remove all the screws. I'm not going to do that, but there's one more screw here. And then you have to take out the hinges and everything and take out the screws holding this um, the charge port down. All right, so that's pretty much all there is to this model. If there, um, Hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please like and subscribe because that'll help me. Um, and if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section below and I'll try and get back to you. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.